It is a beautiful day in Ohio, and this is my 2024 KTM 450 Factory Edition, and this is Brown Sugar. She came to check out my Factory Edition. How about it? She's a sweetie. So here's what we're gonna here's what we're gonna do. This is I'm gonna go over the CUO unit. Hopefully you can see this. Um, if I go to the engine and I look at, I call it 350FE, it's gravel wet, and that has like the very smooth power character. And then I turn engine braking off, throttle response, engine braking as light as it can be, throttle response number one as light as it can be, traction control max. That way if I, if I even engage traction control, it will be as soft as it can be, the engine power. And then if I go to suspension settings, I'm actually, because I'm on a kind of a grass track today, just basic enduro classic and i'm pretty much running that maybe a little softer so uh, i think compressions wrap around 18 to 20 rebound uh maybe 22 and the fork pressure from i think not 10 6 is stock but we go down to 9 7 and then on the shock uh we got compression at 21 or so and rebound at 23 i think high speeds two and three quarters but the cool thing about it is it just gives you some things to to get started on and what you really want to try so download that you don't even have to have the cuo to get the the recommended settings for the suspension but it does help for the uh, uh give you the chassis settings that you can use so it's pretty cool let's take it around the track now i've done some back-to-backs today with my buddy george's 22 which is the previous chassis and i sent my soft map to map one that's where they always go and that way on that like a track like this just easy to take advantage and just kind of roll on the power and and ride for more than about three laps without pumping out as much as anything and then with the with the uh, engine braking turned down they just go into the corners a lot easier and you can really just roll the power on and it just has a less keeps the chassis nice and planted oh the bumper brakes are so good Now see there, because it's got that softer power, instead of just keep pulling, it'll kind of smooth it out. In this new chassis, this kind of flat corners, that's where I feel the difference. It's got really good on the corner edge traction. switch to the aggressive, not stock aggressive. Now you can see it just pulls, pulls that front end up so easy. Definitely more power and also more engine braking going into the corner. The, the engine's not quite as free off the throttle. Boy, it's got some juice. But see, just a push of a button. I'm changing the whole character of the bike. And even the suspension to some degree because engine braking just frees that up. Now see there, with the aggressive map, the stock, it just keeps pulling. These things are 60 horsepower at the rear wheel. And that's one of the things you can feel. When you dial the power back, it'll just go a little flatter on top and you can see it just carry the front. Now that's super easy to ride, but it may tire you out quicker, it may pump out quicker. And that's one of the differences, and that is one of the cool things about this CUO unit. That it changes the character of the bike so it's almost like having a couple bikes in one I dial the power back all the way 
engine brakey back it just feels lighter more playful and i can really kind of modulate the throttle and actually turn it and not get as tired as fast i can just ride and ride or i can go to the aggressive mode and full-on power and then it's still very controllable and i could even go even more aggressive than what's stock i could put the vented air box i could i don't even have the aggressive throttle cam i could go throttle cam air box cover vented i could go to a two-stroke cage and then i go in the cuo and turn wick the throttle response way up it is so tunable so it just depends on how you're feeling that day or the track conditions plus the air forks very adjustable don't be afraid to spin the clickers and use the my ktm app there to come up with some recommended settings so man i'm enjoying this bike two big thumbs up 24.5 ktm 450 factory edition